Plymouth North's Interact Club is hosting the first annual Be The Light Benefit Show, which will be a night filled with talent from our own students. All proceeds will go to a local charitable organization working to support families in their struggles with childhood cancer. We chose Lucy's Love Bus because they are a local Massachusetts charity that benefits families dealing with a pediatric cancer diagnosis. We think their cause is inspiring and needs our support. Once you see what they're all about, we are sure you will agree. Here's a little more on Lucy's Love Bus. This is the story of a little girl named Lucy and the good she left behind. Lucy was my daughter. She was eight years old when she was diagnosed with the adult form of leukemia. It's called acute myeloid leukemia, or AML. Lucy passed away at the age of 12 after a four-year battle with cancer. That's the terrible part of the story. The wonderful part, Lucy's love bus. Lucy's Love Bus is a charity that was started by my daughter Lucy when she was 11 and fighting cancer. Um, we do two things. We deliver love and comfort to children with cancer through free integrative therapies. And we help children get involved in activism and philanthropy through our Lucy's Kid Corps program. For the past five years, Lucy's mom has been explaining her daughter's vision to school children across New England. On this day, to fourth graders at the Johnny Appleseed School in central Massachusetts. So children with cancer have some pretty serious, difficult medicines that they have to take that have horrible side effects that can make you really, really sick. So Lucy looked around and said, hey, I see all these kids suffering and I see that there's not a lot of money for cure. So what can I do to help children feel better? For Lucy, interacting with horses helped her get through treatments. The same is true for four-year-old cancer patient Belle Swerzy, who received therapeutic horseback riding lessons paid for by the Love Bus. Hands to the sky! Belle's dad says this weekly escape with horses has been incredibly helpful. There's, there is a lot of darkness and um, a lot of things that are very tough and this just makes you forget about all that really for, for a while. 13-year-old Camille Wall has a rare type of bone cancer, but a Japanese form of acupuncture funded by the Love Bus helps her cope with the pain and stress of treatments. It's just really amazing to know that like Lucy had like a dream to like help kids with cancer and like here we are and I'm part of it and like she's helping me even though she's not here anymore. And while they aren't behind the wheel, Lucy's Love Bus is definitely kid driven. Part of the funding for the Love Bus comes from school children who raise money through various projects. Lucy's mom says one statistic that seems to fire up the kids is the fact that less than 4% of government money for cancer research is directed at childhood cancers. Once in a while, a principal will say to me, childhood cancer is scary. And I say, yes, it is scary, but guess what? Every single child in your school knows about cancer, and every single child in your school is terrified about cancer. So let's empower them, let's give them some facts, and let's give them some tools to actually create change. So we have nine-year-old children writing to the director of the National Institute of Health. We have children writing to the president, saying, hey, 3.8% is not enough for children. And so until there is a cure, the love bus will keep rolling. Lucy taught me what children needed. That was her brilliant idea, not mine, to create this. Bringing comfort and joy to pediatric cancer patients like Belle, Camille, and little Tiago, who now benefits from weekly swim lessons, a gift from the kids at Johnny Appleseed and Lucy's Love Bus. What do you want to say, babe? Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. In Lemonster, Massachusetts, I'm Linda Champa for CNN. The best. Is that fun? Awesome. We are still looking for a few more acts to round out our show. Please consider performing if you are a dancer or musician. We'd love to have one more student band and some solo or duet performances, either in dance or music. Your participation would mean the world to families you will help by donating your time and talent to this very worthy cause. We would love to see a large crowd come out on Thursday, March 30th at 6 p.m. to support this wonderful cause. Thank you to the many incredible students we have in Plymouth Schools who are generously donating their time and talent to ensure that the Be A Light Benefit Show is a success. Tickets will be available on Eventbrite and sold at the door. They are $10 for adults and $5 for students. Let's pack the pack in support of Lucy's Love Bus and their amazing work they do.